What's up guys, Jerry from Guitar Champ, and today we have a 1988 Gibson Les Paul Custom Light and Metallic Sunset. We'll just call this, we'll call it Salmon or Pink, whatever, whatever you prefer. Uh, the neck on this, it's got a thin neck. It is uh, 0.87 inches at the first fret and then it's 0.98 inches at the 12th fret. So it's kind of a slim taper is, is more like what I would call it. The uh, fingerboard on this is ebony. It's got uh, the original Bill Lawrence um, humbuckers. You got a uh, coil split right here. And one cool thing that's pretty unique about the Les Paul Custom Lights is, I don't know if you can see that, but it has a thinner body to it. Uh, so it feels, it just feels really, really nice on it. And it's a little bit lighter. This comes in at nine pounds even. The serial number on this is eight, Whew, 8330 Let's check it out. All right, here's our Gibson Les Paul Custom in um, Metallic Sunset Salmon. Give this a 8.5 out of 10. It's in very good condition. You know, it's just got light scratches, some dings, uh, a little bit of tarnish on the hardware and some finish checking. Uh, let's go over the top. Uh, looks like you've just got some dings throughout, nothing too crazy, just some light scratches. There's a ding right there, another ding right there, just another ding. Some, some teeny pinhead sized dings kind of in this little area. There's another one. And then the hardware, you can see the hardware, it's just got some tarnish on the gold. Pretty normal. Uh, some light scratches on the pit guard. I don't know if you can see that. You can see the dings a little bit better from this angle. Right, just right along there. And then let's check out the frets. There's a tiny bit of fret wear on this. Um, it has been set up by our Luthier Moses, um, our Luthier Jesse Allen. <laughs> okay, so here's the front work. It's not bad, but it's there. Just like I said, minor around the cowboy cord area, but there's there's no buzzing or dead spots or or anything like that. Um, you do have some finish checking right along there. It's more like chipping down at the seam. There's no separation or anything like that. It's just where some of the paint has chipped. You can even see it up up, up here on the binding where like it's just kind of chipped a little bit. Pretty common. Um, what happens is over time the clear coat and the seams shrink a little bit and then um, you just get some chipping like that. But no cracking or anything like that. And let's see the back of the guitar. The back of the guitar looks pretty clean. Um, I mean, you've just got some light scratches and some dings. There's a scratch right across the electronics cover. And then, you know, just some dings right around that area. A couple dings right around these little areas. Maybe some dings on the back. Uh, a little teeny bit of wear right on this area. The belt buckle area, a little bit of teeny bit of wear right in that area too, but nothing crazy. Uh, let's let's check out that headstock. Uh, let's see if you can get a shot of that serial number on there. If if you can't clearly see the serial number in the video, I do have a photo that should be pretty decent of it. Uh, just just ask me for the photo and I'll get it to you. The back of the headstock. There's no cracks, there's there's no repairs, there's no weird stuff going on, it's pretty obvious. Let's see how it sounds. Alrighty, let's see how this baby sounds. Uh, on this we have a pickup selector, a uh, volume for each pickup, a tone knob, and then a coil splitter for the pickups. Um, I think for this one I will start with the neck pickup, uh, work my way back, and in doing so I will also split the coils at each tone position that I'm in. 
Uh, let's see if I remember. Let's see how it sounds with some high gain.